In this demonstration, we will show you how to use the MyCom ML N50 Mechatrolink 2 enabled stepper with LabVIEW. First, please make sure you've wired in your drive with proper power and have hooked up the Mechatrolink cables properly. Then, go into the program and select the Mechatrolink driver. Click on the Setup Utility. Click the Detect Node button. This will identify the product as a stepper motor. Notice that there is no motor data here, because the motor model number is derived in a servo system through a digital encoder. Most stepper motors do not have digital encoders or serial encoders like the Yaskawa Sigma 5 has, which allows the motor data to be read in automatically. The motor and the drive number are all that can be automatically detected and displayed for now. Now we will exit the Setup Utility tab and will run one of the sample programs. So we'll go back into the Mechatrolink driver under Sample Programs to load the Stepper sample program. This starts up LabVIEW 8.5 or 8.6, which in turn opens the Stepper Run.vi front panel. You see in address 1 that the node type is listed as Stepper. We will enable this node by clicking Start. This will start moving the Stepper in a clockwise manner. If you look at the block diagram, you see that we have different VIs, or virtual instruments, serving different functions. If we select this block and change it to 2000, we are now changing the revolutions from 1000 to 2000 RPM. We can also very easily increase the speed by changing it again from 2 to 4000 RPM. Hit the Execute button for LabVIEW, and the motor now runs at 4000 RPM. We can even turn it up to 8,000 RPM or beyond, according to the motor's rated at speed. The motor runs clockwise at 8,000 RPM. If you want to change direction, simply enter a negative value in front of the number in this data field, in this case minus 1,000, and the motor will now move in a counterclockwise direction at 1,000 RPM. Minus 8000 will run the motor at an even faster counterclockwise direction of 8000 RPM. Now we see all of the VIs that make up what we have seen in this sample program. The VI with the stopwatch in the middle is actually a timer program, indicating that this sample program runs at 5 seconds. Thanks for watching as we control a Mechatrolink enabled stepper with LabVIEW.